Hey, this is Chuck Hester at WRL TechWire and continuing our series on uh, NC Tech's uh, top tech startups to watch profiles. Uh, today, uh, we have Tina Tang, who is the co-founder and CEO of Bristles. Uh, welcome, Tina. Appreciate you taking the time. Hey, Chuck. Happy to be here today. Thanks for doing the, inter the interview. Absolutely. So, uh, for those of you who may not know, uh, talk, a, talk to us through about what Bristles is, what's the concept, um, and we'll take it from there. Yeah, so Bristles AI, we're a startup uh, based out of Durham, and we build visualization software for refurbishing home goods and planning home improvement projects. Okay, and uh, I, I, I mentioned that uh, WRL TechWire had covered you in 2022, which was the spring after the fall when you guys first got, got uh, up and running in 2021. Um, uh -huh. And you were one of the first, uh, uh, sorry, uh, tweener uh, fund recipients as well as an NCIDEA recipient. Um, mm -hmm. Where are you now? We're going on what, close to three years later? Yeah, so a lot has changed since then. When we first chatted, that was before we had an app launched in the app stores. It was kind of in the very beginning when we were doing customer discovery and NC idea and the micro grant and the tweener fund investment helped a lot with that process. Also opened the door to um, a ton of mentorship from the triangle entrepreneurship system that which really helped us uh, start off our startup journey. Uh, now we're at the point where We've been launched in App Stores for over a year now, and we we've, we have thousands of paying customers from over 55 countries. So our software is being used globally, which is really exciting. Um, we're kind of honing in on our initial early adopter customer. And currently we're working on going from kind of the initial 1.0 of our software to 2.0. And with the surge in AI, it's really helping us supercharge our business and how fast we can go, uh, even with a yes. small scrappy team. Excellent. And and uh, kind of walk us through, I know it's a subscription model, uh, but walk us through exactly what the app does um, for mm -hmm. folks who may. Yeah, so we, um, we're a design software based on images as input. So our uh, typical customer is a, furniture refinisher. And what they do is they take a photo of their piece of furniture from the start. So it can be something they picked up from the thrift store, something they picked up possibly on the side of the road. And what they're doing is they're transforming it with paint and materials to resell for profit. And so they're using our app to redesign that initial photograph of the, of the before. Um, so they're trying out different paint colors. They're trying out different bases, different hardware to see what looks best. If they already have a customer lined up, they'll, they'll send them mock-ups using our app uh, to kind of get buy-in from the client before they even get started on, on the Perfect. actual uh, refinishing. Excellent. And it sounds like you guys were kind of cutting edge three or four years ago. Uh, we didn't have things like, you know, Google Image where you could uh, search using the image or uh, Amazon for that matter, where I could buy a coffee maker and put it on my, on my counter virtually and be able to take a look at that as far as that goes. Um, since we're talking about AI, um, what have you seen as far as adoption of AI, where it is? Because 2021, we were just barely scratching the surface on it. Uh, now mm -hmm. it's, it's it's every other news story talks about something about AI. So how are you using AI and what do you see as far as, as practical applications for, for that technology? Mm -hmm. So our software is powered by computer vision um, and we're kind of as... Uh, the new technology is coming out. We're integrating those pieces into our platform and stacking it with classic, uh, more classic machine learning techniques to kind of achieve the the mockups that our customers uh, are creating. If that makes sense. Um, no, that makes sense. And what would you say? I say that makes sense. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, awesome. So, uh, and, and I think your second question is, was how how are customers feeling about AI? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so when we first got started, the reaction from our customers was kind of like, we have never seen this before. This is so cool. Um, 
pre previously they were using tools like Photoshop um, or they were kind of just scribbling on top of photos using their general photo editing tools. So they had the this extreme of here's a tool you have to go on desktop and it's really hard to use uh, and that's Photoshop or you have these tools on mobile that are um, kind of don't give you the creative control you need to test specific ideas like paint colors on furniture or hardware on furniture things like that. Um, so when they first saw uh, version one of our product, they're like, whoa, this, I've never seen this before. This will save me so much time. Um, like out, compared to hours in Photoshop, it was just a couple of minutes in bristles. So now AI has kind of overtaken the consumer world. Consumers are very used to chat GPT um, and a lot of uh, kind of image uh, computer vision editing software. And um, so now they're, the feedback we're getting is very different. Um, it's kind of, they ask us, so, you know, I'm paying for your software. Can you tell me like where uh, you have plugged in the AI? Because they're kind of aware that, you know, AI has a cost, but it's helping me do X, Y, and Z. So it's worth paying for. And I want to know what I'm paying for. Mm -hmm. And what's the subscription cost? Right now, uh, it's seven ninety nine a month, and you, or you could pay upfront forty eight dollars a year. Okay. Uh, so, pretty low cost at the yeah, moment. Absolutely. So, um, new round of funding came in from Primordial as well. Uh, are, are there plans for other funding, and 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 where do you go from here? So, I think I mentioned. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but we're focused on building uh, the 2.0 version of Bristles. Um, and so when uh, when Primordial invested, we had an early version of our app launched in app stores and they've been seeing the traction. Um, and so they're excited to support us in building out this 2.0. Um, as far as future fundraising, uh, we're going to kind of evaluate at, uh, after the 2.0 launch to see kind of what our needs are at that point. When is the 2.0 launch plan? It's planned for uh, by the end of Q4, so the end of this quarter, pretty soon. Okay. Wow, very cool. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, Sina, and I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me a little bit about um, the, the VC startup uh, community, how it's grown since 2021. What what's the uh, what's the outlook today for the the Triangle and North Carolina uh, tech startup community? Uh, well. I'm biased, but I, I think North Carolina is a great place to start a business. We've had incredible support here in terms of um, really experienced entrepreneurs willing to give their time to help us out um, in terms of mentorship and things like that. Um, VCs are also open to helping with mentorship. Um, as far as how the VC landscape has changed, I don't know if I'm... Uh, very much of an expert on this, <laughs> but um, from my experience, I know I've seen new uh, kind of smaller VCs come up, like Primordial is new, um, and they're kind of focused earlier on um, RTP Angel Fund is new. So there is a bunch of like smaller um, funds focused on earlier in the startup journey, which is uh, which is nice. Excellent. Well, Tina, appreciate you taking the time. And again, congratulations on uh, on being one of the Triangle Tech uh, startups to watch. And uh, we will look forward to seeing you on December 3rd at the uh, at the NC Tech Awards.